Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video I'm going to be doing a six month of owning our Tesla update. So if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Alisa Summers. So I really wanted to do a six month update of what it's been like owning an electric vehicle. And while there has been so many pros, there are a few cons as well, but they are just minor. So I wanted to go over them with you all. Um, also, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me. It would help me out a ton. Also, don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up. Um, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is the pros. So one of the biggest things that my husband and I both agree on that is the biggest pro of the car is with the autopilot, the full self-driving. When, you know, typically when you're driving, you look straight out on the road and you rely on your peripheral vision to keep an eye on everything else that's going on the outside. Well, with the autopilot, it gives you the chance to be able to you know, be able to look around a little bit more, watch for that wildlife, instead of it coming out and surprising you. So it takes a really big relief off your shoulders when you're driving, because knowing that all of the sensors and all of the cameras that are recording constantly, it's just a really big help. Uh, the second one is, I absolutely love the style of it. It is a little bit bigger. Prior to having our Tesla, we had a 2012 uh, Ford Fusion that my husband, I had talked about in previous videos, had totaled. And the rear-facing car seat actually has enough room and the driver or the passenger, whichever the car seat is behind, has enough room and leg room. So it's bigger than what we were anticipating, which was really nice. Another big thing that we really like is the price of, you know, charging versus the amount on like what we were spending on gas. You know, after he totaled the car, I don't have any of the numbers what we were spending on gas prior to having the car or what we were spending with the car. Um, but with our Toyota Tundra, we were spending about $450 a month in gas. And so, you know, just to see about a $60, $70 increase in our electric bill, um, right now we have those free Tesla miles. So we're not paying anything. So it's been super nice and convenient. When we have had to pay, it's only been $10, $11 max, I think is the most we've ever had to pay. So I think the price of charging versus gas for us is a huge difference. Um, the last big pro is I absolutely love the updates of the car. I love that it's continually getting smarter and just all of the extra bonus features that we're getting. Like I love the boom box. I love showing people it. I love, I just love that feature. So some of the cons. So the biggest con is Especially when you're having to plan a trip, you really have to be diligent about where superchargers are, where you know other EV chargers are located. Um, living in Montana, there's not a lot of Tesla chargers, and so um, you have to really be careful so that you don't run out of energy and that you just make sure you plan the trip accordingly, which kind of sucks because you know there's gas stations everywhere, but not you know, charging stations everywhere. So that is a really big inconvenience. A big thing for me that, I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but it bothers me a little bit. I really dislike when you're driving or if it's hot outside, I can't imagine how hot it gets, you know, in like California and in Florida, but like how hot the tablet gets. I know every, the whole entire car maneuvers, it functions with the tablet, but I really don't like how hot the tablet gets. And I don't know if it's just our tablet or what, but it does get really, really hot and it bothers me some, but what do you do? So those are kind of the 
basic things that I wanted to talk about, what I really like about the car. I absolutely love it. I am so glad that we have it. I can't wait until we do sell our Tundra and we have the Cybertruck and I won't have to fight my husband on who gets to drive the car. So I am so excited to have two electric vehicles in the future. Um, I just, I can't wait for the Model 3 to be all mine and not having to move car seats around a whole bunch. And so, yeah. Like I said, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a nice thumbs up. If you do have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I will also link our referral link to get those uh, thousand free supercharged miles if you want to use it, if you're thinking about getting a Tesla. Uh, I don't think I have anything else, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.